For chapter one of my book, Stunning Digital Photography, I'm going to go over some quick tips that can really quickly improve your photography. I'm going to use my favorite model here, Cowboy. The first tip that I have is that I don't carry a camera bag around, nor do I use a lens cap. You see, all I have is a camera strap. When you carry all that extra gear, it just slows you down. Every time you go to take a picture, you'll have to spend a few seconds digging your camera out maybe digging through all those different lenses. So here's tip number two, and it's to eliminate distractions. So this is how most people would take a picture. They would just stand at eye level and take a nice wide angle shot. Nice smile, cowboy. And what happens there is you don't really know what the subject of the picture is. It looks fine when you're seeing it with your eye, but when you look at the actual photo, uh, you see a lot of things in the picture besides the subject. To eliminate distractions, the easiest thing to do is to get closer and to zoom in. So I'll do that now. Cowboy, look up here. Good boy. Getting closer also reduces the depth of field. It blurs the background a little bit, which I cover in depth in chapter four. The next thing to do, tip number three, is to try different viewpoints. So I just shot cowboy from eye level, and it's not that flattering. For smaller subjects like dogs, you really want to crouch down and get to the eye level. Same thing applies for kids. Good boy, cowboy. If you're taking pictures of uh, something like the Eiffel Tower, you can move to many different sides of it, get high and get low, get close, zoom in, zoom out. That leads me to tip number four, which is take lots of pictures, but delete most of them. You can't take too many pictures with digital. It doesn't cost you a thing. Uh, but please don't put 150 pictures of the same thing on Facebook. Just pick one. For tip number five, I'd like to talk about flash. Now, by default, your camera just points the flash directly at your subject, which provides a very flat lighting. I'll take a sample shot now. A better way to do it is to use bounce flash. Many cameras allow you to attach an external flash to the hot shoe. With the bounce flash, you can angle the flash up. Many bounce flashes even have a diffuser built in that will spread the light a little bit more evenly. Now, as I take a second picture of Cowboy, you'll notice that the lighting is very different. The background has more even shadows. The lighting overall looks more natural. Uh, and if he had red eye in the first picture, he wouldn't have red eye in this picture. For my last tip, I want to suggest that you edit your photos. All you need to do is to download a free application like Picasa and just give it a little crop, maybe adjust the colors and the white balance until it looks good. Often the application can edit those settings automatically. This is for chapter one of my book, Stunning Digital Photography. This was the most basic video and chapter in the series. After this, it gets much more complex. Uh, I can take you from a beginner to a very advanced amateur or even professional if you're willing to put the time into it. The print book is about $20. If you get the ebook, which is just a few dollars, you'll be able to watch videos like this embedded right in it. Many videos which you can't find on YouTube or other sources. If you like this video, click subscribe up above to see other videos like it, and click like down below. If you have any questions for me, add them to the comments below and I'll get right back to you. Thanks. Nice life, Cal. All right. <laughs>